Hello everybody, it's Yami and welcome to a Gap for Life mini movie called The Girl Behind the Mask. This one has been made by Random Cousins and I'm going to have a link to their channel in the description so do make sure to go over there and show some love. I don't know much about this story but I'm excited to get into it and to find out what it's all about. Guys, if you're excited too, make sure to leave a like and let's get into it. So, you guys will come to my baseball game, right? Yeah, totally. And if we didn't, I'm pretty sure you would beat us up. Anyway, let's not talk about that. I heard that there's going to be a new student that's coming to our school today. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm really excited. Wait, wait, do you know the gender of the new kid? Yeah, I think it's a girl. Yes, queen. Oh, it's the school bell. And unfortunately, that means it's time for class. Oh, chicken nugget. I'm gonna be late. Dude, we're gonna be late too. Come on, let's go. Wait for me. Oh my goodness, this teacher looks tired. His bags are bigger than mine when I go shopping. And that's impressive. Sorry we're late, sir. Yeah, sorry. It's fine, just go and take a seat, boys. Okay. All right, class. Today, a new student will be joining us. When she comes in, please do not say anything about how she looks. All right? Well, I mean, people shouldn't be commenting on looks anyway. That should be standard procedure. But that says to me that there's something weird about this girl. Is she perhaps behind a mask? You can come in. Yep, she's wearing a mask. And it's absolutely adorable, by the way. I love it. It reminds me of a kitsune. Class, this is Amelia. She will be joining our class. Now, if you don't mind, could you move your seat a little, Dylan? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Now you can go sit there if you'd like. Oh, she gets to sit next to Dylan. Hopefully he's nice to her. Great. Now let's get on with our lesson. Have you seen the new student, May? No, not yet. Dude, she wears a... Be quiet, guys. She's right behind you. Is that her? Yeah. I wonder why she wears that mask. The teacher told us not to ask. I wonder why. Anyway, um, when's your baseball game? Oh, it's on the 27th. So it's a little while away yet. And oh no, what the heck? How did he fall backwards into her? That was the weirdest catcher crash I've ever seen. I'm so sorry. Here, let me help you up. I don't want help from someone wearing a mask. I bet you wear that mask because you're not nice to look at. So stay away from me or else. Do you understand? Yeah. Good. Let's go, Leo. Wow, they were really nice, weren't they? Not. They were horrible. The next day. Oh, she's up on the rooftop by herself. I feel so bad for her. Hey, nerds. What do you want, Zach? I just want to talk to your little friend, Dylan here. In private? He would never want to talk to you after what? I'll talk to you, Jack. Well then, come on, let's go. All right, what do you want, Jack? I thought he was called Zach. How did he change his name? I guess we'll never know his real name. All right, what do you want, Jack? Well, me and the boys were talking and we decided we want you in our group. Wait, why? Well, we've been watching you lately and you have potential. We think you'd be great in our group. But here's the tricky part. The tricky part is you deciding what you want to do. You can go back to those losers and be worthless or join my group and be what you've always wanted to be. The choice is yours. Fine, I'll join your group. Great, now come on, the boys are waiting. Wow, he just completely ditched his friends and has joined the group. And it sounds like it's a group of horrible people, so that's great. Oh yeah, it is a group of horrible people. It includes the boy that was nasty to the girl in the mask. Hey guys. This is our newest member of our group, Dylan. Sup, Dylan? You finally made it in. Well, he does need a change in his fashion, though. Yeah, that's why we're all going over to my house after school. Give him his new glow up. Right, Dylan? Yeah, I guess. I don't understand why they're picking on his fashion when they're all wearing school uniform. They're wearing the same thing. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. The next day. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's got gloves on now and he's also got a jacket tied around his waist. I guess that makes all the difference. Was that? Yeah, it was. He has joined the group of nasty boys. Look at him thinking he's all so cool and his new gloves and his new jacket. Ooh, a paper aeroplane. Go on, read it. You should mess with that mask girl sat next to you. I mean, nobody would really care anyway. And besides, she is weird. 
Oh my gosh, he's kicking her chair. He's kicking it again and again. He's so mean. Thank goodness the bell is going off. All right, class dismissed. They should really leave her alone. I don't like this. They've just knocked her over. I feel so bad for her. Hey, uh, where's Dylan? He's sitting with his new friends. Oh, okay. Why don't you invite the mask girl to sit with you? She's all alone. Where is she going? I don't know. Oh, look, there he is. Dylan and his new group. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. It's the girl in the mask. What are you doing over here, weirdo? I was just trying to get back into the school. Gosh, you're so annoying. Sorry, I'll just be on my way. No, no, we're not done talking. You know anyone that tries to get away from me? Gets a punishment. Why don't we see what you look like without your mask on, eh? Oh, don't tell me he's gonna pull it off her face. This is too cruel. Get off me. Yes, girl. You push that boy over. Why is he so mean? This is actually making me low-key sad. Dude, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. What are you just standing there for? Go find that girl. Yeah, right. Sorry, bro. And what are you two doing there just standing? Go find that girl. Right, sorry. She is making a break for it and I do not blame her. Hey, my name is May. Wait, we don't have time for names. Anyway, I know you're being chased by a gang right now, but I have a place where you can hide. Really? Yeah, come on, let's go. I love how May is helping her out right now. What an absolute angel. It's just right here. The boys have no idea where she is as well. And it's not like they're allowed into the girl's bathroom. We made it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm May. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Amelia. I like your name. Oh, thanks, I guess. No problem. Oh, uh, thanks for saving me back there. Oh, it wasn't a big deal, but you really didn't have to help me. Oh, well, I was glad to help. But, um, anyway, I just want to say I'm sorry. I always see you at lunch and I always ignore you. I should have gone over to you and said hi, so I'm sorry. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. I know it's been hard with you and your friend. He's changed a lot ever since he started to hang out with those guys. I'm pretty sure he's just having a hard time right now. And he'll come back to us soon. I hope so. Anyway, um, I was wondering, do you want to be friends? I've never really had a friend before. Well then, I'll be your first friend. Wait, really? Are you sure? Yeah, totally. As long as you're okay with me being your friend. Yeah, I don't mind at all. Oh, it's the bell again. Hopefully the boys still aren't looking for her. Poop, I'm gonna be late again. Before I go, make sure that after school you meet me in front of the school. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll see you later. See you. That was the most wholesome scene ever. I'm so glad that Amelia's made a friend. Her first friend. After school, Amelia's waiting by the gate. It's 10 minutes later and she's still waiting for May. Is she going to show up or is she going to stand her up? I hope she does show up. There she is. Hey, Amelia. Oh, hey. Sorry we're late. Our dang math teacher wouldn't let us go. Oh, it's fine. Uh, who is that? Oh, this is just my friend, Theo. He's a little grumpy right now. Oh, anyway, you guys ready to walk home? Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, let's get this show on the road. The next day. So, I have a baseball game on the 27th. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I was just wondering if you'd like to come. Okay, great. So, you'd like to come, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is my class right here. All right. Well, I'll see you in fourth period. See you. I also love how Amelia carries around this teddy bear. It is so cute. And it probably makes her feel safe, which is just absolutely adorable. Okay, time for everybody to come to class. And I just realized she sat next to Dylan and he does horrible things to her during class. So this is not good. All right, class, let's get started. Oh, he's kicking her chair again. Why is he doing that? All right, I want all of you to look to the person sitting next to you. Know the person that you're looking at right now. They're going to be your partner for this project. You'll have one month to finish the project. So I would suggest that you both meet up someplace and that you work on this. Now, chop chop, get started on your project. This is a big yikes for Dylan because he does not want to work with her. Uh... So, uh, what topic do you want to do for the project? We could do, uh, 
Let's just do the cell category. Okay, we need to decide whose house we're gonna work on the project at. Okay, my house is really small and crammed, so could we do it at your house? My house wouldn't have enough room, so it would be best if we probably did it at your house. Fine, we can do it at my house. Okay, um, maybe after school, we could meet in the front of the school and then go to your house. Fine, whatever. Okay. All right, class dismissed. At lunch. So yeah, I got partnered with Dylan. Oh geez. So wait, you have to go over to his house? Mm-hmm. What is his house like? His house is really nice. And his family is nice too. So his family is nice, right? Yeah, his family is nice, but they're not really home a lot. So you probably won't meet them. Okay. We can come with you if you want. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Guys, it's fine. You don't have to come with me. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I feel like Dylan has something terrible planned. I hope I'm wrong. All right, guys, we'll do the plan tonight after school. We can't do it. What? Why? Because I'm partners with her in science. And if we do the plan, then the teacher's obviously going to suspect that we beat her up and we'll get suspended. I was right. They are planning something. These guys are so mean. But what? What is the reason? Fine. We'll do it once your project thing is done. I think it's better if maybe they don't do it at all. After school. See you, Amelia. See you. Here he is. Let's go. Okay. A couple of minutes later. They've made it to Dylan's house and it is really nice. It's absolutely huge. Here it is. Your house looks really nice. I guess. Come on, let's just go. This is my room. Wow, your room is huge. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go change. Okay. All right, what stuff do we need? Okay, so the animal cell will be a circle and the... Yeah, he was totally falling asleep when he should have been doing the project. Uh, dude, wake up. Sorry. It's fine, but we need to work on the project. Remember, we only have a month to do this. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyways, as I was saying, why do you carry that teddy bear around? It's like really weird. Uh, it's complicated. Okay. I should go. It's getting late, but it's only four. Sorry, but I need to go home. I'll see you later, I guess. Wow, way to make her feel uncomfortable. The next day. How was it yesterday? It was okay. Well, at least it wasn't really bad, right? I mean, yeah, I guess. After school, again. You ready to go? Yeah, let's just go. I'm sorry about yesterday. I wasn't thinking. I didn't mean to offend you, so I'm sorry. I forgive you. Just don't do it again, okay? Okay, um, I'll go get the stuff we need. One hour later. It's not funny, okay? I almost died. <laughs> You're really funny, you know that? I mean, I guess. Yeah, you make some pretty funny jokes. Yeah, yeah. You really do. Well, I should get going now. Tomorrow, we plan on how to make the cells and stuff. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. As the month went on, the two became really good friends. They always had so much fun when they were together. And they would always get along. But Dylan and his friends were still ignoring each other. So Amelia had an idea. She decided that she was going to talk to Dylan about everything. I wonder how this is going to go down. Hey, Amelia. Hey, Dylan. I need to talk to you. Okay. Uh, let's just go. Hey, so what did you want to talk about? Um, well, I was just wondering. Yeah? Um, why do you keep ignoring May and Theo? They want to talk to you, but you keep ignoring each other. Well, they should talk to me first. Okay. And another thing. Why do you treat me different? At school, you kick my chair and sometimes trip me up in the halls. But here, you act like I'm your best friend. I just want to know why. Look, I don't know, okay? You do know, Dylan. You just don't want to tell me. You can tell me. You guys are just jealous. Of what? Of me? You guys are jealous because I'm with Zach and his gang now. My question is, is he called Zach or is he called Jack? Because he keeps changing his name. We're not jealous. I don't care who you hang out with or how you dress. You're just being so mean to everyone. No one likes it. You're hurting everyone's feelings. I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but it's true. And I, you know what? 
I don't care about anyone's feelings. Including yours, Amelia. Want to know what I think about you? I think that you're just a masked weirdo. You're looking for some attention. I don't even want to know what's behind that mask. And I never want to be your friend. I was just using you to get a good grade. I would never want to be friends with someone like you. And May and Theo? They're just like you. Oh, I need attention. Yeah, they're just like you. Oh my goodness, my heart right now. That was savage and so uncalled for. Oh, she's crying. This is breaking my heart. Amelia, I save it the next day. Hmm, she's not here yet. She's usually here by now. That's the bell and it doesn't look like she's turning up. All right, class, let's get started. I guess Amelia isn't here today. I wonder why. Yeah, me too. I bet she's just got the flu or something. Yeah, probably. Two weeks later. Wait, Amelia still isn't here after two weeks? That's crazy, what happened to her? All right, class, let's get today's lesson started. She's been gone for two weeks. Is she not here because of me? Maybe at lunch I could ask May and Theo where she is. I mean, I guess I could ask them. I really hope Amelia is okay. I should have never said all of those things. When she comes back, I'll apologize to her. I don't think she has the flu, May. What do you want, Dylan? I was just wondering, do you know why Amelia has been gone for so long? No, we don't know. Okay, that was the shortest conversation ever. One week later. She still isn't here. This is crazy. Wait, she's just shown up. Did you see that as well? She had a band-aid on her leg. All right, class, today we're learning about the skeletal system. 40 minutes later. All right, class dismissed. Amelia, wait. I just want to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of those things I said. I was just mad and you were right. I've been acting like a jerk lately and I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, she's hugging him. She must forgive him then. I forgive you, Dylan. Oh, they're hugging, but wait a second. They're hugging in front of his new gang. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. The two weirdos in love. How adorable. Actually, the only weirdo here is you, Zach. Wanna fight, you little punk? I mean, sure, why not? Bring it on. And they had a fight. Oh dear. One hour later, he's landed himself in the nurse's office. And this is why we shouldn't fight at school. Come in. I wonder if it's Amelia. Yeah, it is. Hello there. I brought some lunch to share with my friend here. Oh, okay. I was just about to ask him if he was hungry. So perfect timing. Anyway, I'll be in the other room taking care of another patient if you need me. Okay, thank you. Um, hey. Hey, I brought you some of my lunch. Thanks, but I'm not really hungry. Could you just try it? It's really good. I made it myself. It's rice balls. Fine, I'll try it. Okay, here you go. Thanks. Oh, no problem. Why is this so awkward though? He's given like one word answers and she's trying to give him food. That's a friend for life right there. So you made these by yourself? Mm-hmm. It's actually not that hard, to be honest. Oh, cool, I guess. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really good. And that's really cool that you made these all by yourself. Yeah, my mom taught me how to make them. Anyway, um, you know, you didn't have to get into that fight. You didn't have to get hurt. You could have just walked away, you know? I know, but I think I deserve to get hurt. Why? Well, because of how rude I've been lately. Nobody deserves to get hurt. I mean, I guess. Thanks for sharing your lunch with me, by the way. Oh, it's not a big deal. I had extra, so... What happened to your leg? Yeah, I've been wondering that too. Why does she have a band-aid on it? Oh, that? It's just a scratch. Okay. Uh... Anyway, um, May and Theo want to talk to you when you're all healed. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, it's the bell again. This bell keeps going off. Honestly, I do not like it. It is giving me flashbacks to school and I don't want to think about my days at school. Well, I should probably get going. I'll see you later, Dylan. See ya. A couple of days later. Hey guys. Hey Dylan. We're sorry. We just ignored you and we didn't really think about what you were going through. We should have helped you, so we're sorry. It's okay if you don't want to be friends anymore. We understand. No, I do want to be friends with you guys. You guys shouldn't be sorry. I should be the one who's sorry. I've been acting really rude lately and I'm sorry. We forgive you, Dylan. Yeah, 
We forgive you. At least we're all friends again. Yeah. I have a test on Monday. But that gives me the whole weekend to party. Yeah, I guess. We should all do something fun today after school. Like going to the mall. I'm down. Me too, I guess. Do you want to go, Amelia? Um, sure. Why not? Okay, yay! So after school, we'll all meet up in front of the gates. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, cool beans. After school. Hey. Hey, guys. Are you guys ready for some fun? Yeah, but you're too slow, May. Slow? I am speed! Lightning McQueen. Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go, silly. Are you okay? No. You guys hurry up. Y'all are so slow. Okay. Come on, dude. Let's go. Dude, she slapped me so hard. At the mall. Look at all of the food. Let's go, guys. Wait for us. It's actually so nice to see Amelia finally have a group of friends. She's never had that before. And it's just so sweet. A couple of hours later. Anyway, um... It's getting pretty late. And Theo, you're walking me home. Anyway, do you want to walk home with us, Dylan? Um, actually, I'm going to walk Amelia home. Okay. Well, we'll see you later, Dylan and Amelia. See you guys. You ready to go? Mm-hmm. Okay, then let's go. This is it. Okay. I, um, I had a great time with you and your friends. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, they're hugging again. Thank you. It's not a big deal. I'll see you later, Dylan. The next day. Sorry that you failed the project, by the way. It's fine. The project was dumb anyway. I mean, I guess. Besides, that project wasn't a big part of our grade, so... Hey, guys. Hey, you guys come into my baseball game today? Of course we are, May. Okay, great. Well, I've got to go get ready for the game. I'll see you later, guys. See ya at the game. Are you sure that this is the best place to see the game? Yeah, I'm positive. I guess this view is all right. Guys, look, the game is starting. Oh, there she is, look. She looks so cute in her little uniform. A couple of hours later. Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Okay, I hope nothing bad happens at the bathroom. Oh, yikes. Look who it is. It's the masked weirdo. What are you doing over here? I, um, you know what I've always wondered? What you look like under that mask. I, why don't we see her? Three, two, one. He's taking it off. Oh my goodness. We can see her face, kind of. What the heck? You look totally normal. Give me back my mask. First, tell me what the heck is wrong with you. Just give it back. Then tell me. Oh, she looks so sad. It's breaking my heart. There. Happy? Here. Oh, he actually did give it back. I hope you're happy. Wow, what a meanie. I think he kind of regrets doing that. He didn't look too happy in the end. And it serves him right because it was really mean what he did. Um, hey guys, I think I'm just gonna go home. I don't feel so good. Do you want me to walk you home? Sure, I guess. All right, I'm just gonna walk Amelia home really quick, Theo. All right, we won't be long. All right. Take your time. Thanks for walking me home, Dylan. Oh, no problem. Hey, are you okay? You seem quieter than usual. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just tired. Anyway, thanks for walking me home. What is Dylan doing? He's pulled her clothes. I kind of feel like he's getting the vibe that something really is wrong with Amelia and he wants to find out. Dylan, what are you doing? What's wrong? I... I'm sorry. I should probably go inside now. Okay. I'll see you on Monday. Wow, that was incredibly awkward. And probably not how Dylan thought it would go. After that weekend. So, how was the walk home yesterday with Amelia? Did you guys make out or something? Dude, no. We're just friends. Just friends? We'll see about that. Shut up. Oh, he's blushing. He's all shy. Hey, what's so funny, guys? Nothing. Uh, okay. Hey, Amelia, do you have the project we worked on last Friday? It's due today. Don't worry. I got it. All right. We love that Amelia is so organized and oh no. This is awkward now, isn't it? Thank goodness he's gone. Well, I guess we better get to class, guys. I'll see you guys at lunch. See ya. I'll meet you guys in class. All right, we'll be right behind you. All right, class, let's get started. Today, we are learning the subject of matter. Now, can someone give me the definition of matter? 20 minutes later. Oh, a note. Meet me by the stairs at lunch from Jack. Why does he want me to meet him by the stairs? Hopefully it's not something bad. 
at lunch. Hey guys, I'm gonna go get a drink of water real quick. All right, she's definitely not going to get water. She's going to meet Jack. He feels so bad about taking her mask. Hey, you told me to meet you here, right? Yeah, I just wanna say sorry about Friday night. You see, my mum doesn't have any legs. It's due to an accident. And when I took off your mask and I saw you didn't have an eye, it reminded me of my mum and I felt really bad. So I'm sorry. Wait a second. I didn't realize she was missing an eye. I need to see this again. Oh, I see now. She is missing an eye. I didn't see because of the bangs and the way that they were placed. And now it makes sense to why she wears a mask. And that's super sad because she's gorgeous the way she is. So... I'm sorry. I forgive you. And I'm so sorry about your mom and stuff. I get it that sometimes we take out our anger on other people and don't think about anyone else other than ourselves. And sometimes we just need a friend or a hug, you know? I see now why you're so rude to everyone. It's because you're angry and you're sad about your mom not having legs, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, if you want, we can be friends. Even after all that I did to you, you still want to be friends? Of course. I would love to be your friend. Really? Yeah. But if you don't want to be friends, that's fine. I understand. No, no, I do want to be your friend. I just don't think I deserve to be your friend. Oh, look, Amelia is such a great person. Seriously, I admire her positivity and the way that she forgives people. Everyone deserves to have a friend. Thank you, Amelia. Anything for a friend. Oh, the school bell's going. It's time for class. I guess I better get to class. Yeah, same here. I'll see you later. See ya. She smelled like flowers when she hugged me. Oh my, I think someone has a crush. Hey, Amelia, what took you so long at the drinking fountain? Oh, I just ran into Jack and we became friends. What? Tell me everything after class. All right, so you're telling me the guy who has bullied you ever since you got here, the guy who literally took off your mask without your permission, wants to be your friend? And you said yes? Mm-hmm. Why? Well, I could tell he needed a friend, so I decided I would be his friend. And he said sorry about all he did, you know? Yeah, like I'll believe that he actually meant it. You know, Dylan kind of did the same thing to me. He bullied me and then he apologized and you were okay with it. Why are you not okay with it now? Because this is Jack we're talking about. He has hurt so many people, not just you, Amelia. Well, maybe he said sorry to them. He isn't really the type to say sorry to people. And imagine how Dylan and Theo will react when you tell them that you're friends with Jack. Well, they'll just have to accept that Jack is my friend. Just because I'm friends with him doesn't mean you guys have to be. I mean, I guess you're right. I just don't want you to get hurt, Amelia. And you should probably tell Dylan about what happened on Friday night. All oh, right, I'll do that tomorrow at lunch. All right, we should probably start heading to our next class then. Yeah, you're right. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. After school. Hey, mom. Hey, sweetie. How was school? It was good. Just the normal. That's good to hear, dear. I have a surprise for you. Really? Hey, mom. Where should I put... Oliver! Amelia! Aww. They're so happy to be reunited. I missed you so much. I missed you too, sis. Your brother finally made enough money in Europe to come back home. And tomorrow... He'll go to your school. Really? Yep. Hey, Oliver, what happened to your eye? I don't really want to talk about it. I'll continue to put away the laundry. Okay. The next day. Are you almost done with that? Yeah, almost. I just need to get it perfect. There, done. Finally. Are you guys ready for school? Yeah, after 10 billion years. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I love you, son. I love you too, mom. I love you too, my little angel. Aw, I love you too, mom. I'll see you both after school. All right, see you, mom. Bye, mom. Love you. Bye, my darlings. Babe. Coming. So, have you made any friends at the school? Yeah. I have a few. I'll introduce them to you. All right. Hey, guys. I'd like you to meet someone special to me. Amelia? Is that your boyfriend? I'm her brother? 
<laughs> you guys thought we were dating? <laughs> now that was a funny joke. Anyway, this is my brother and he goes to this school now. So yeah. Okay, cool. So is he going to be part of our group now? Yeah, if that's okay with you guys. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, sounds good. And it's time for class. I wonder how Amelia's brother is going to get on in this new school. And will people judge him for having a black eye? I guess we'll find out. All right, we should probably get to class now. Yeah, probably. Come on, let's go, Amelia. I'm going with her? Okay. Oh my goodness, it's already so awkward. I'm just... <sighs> At lunch. Hey, Oliver. Yeah? Where did you get that black eye? I, uh, I fell over and I hit my eye on the road. Okay. Who falls over and hits their eyes on the road? Uh, hey, Amelia. Yeah? Don't you have something to tell Dylan and Theo? Oh, right. Um, so you guys know the night of May's baseball game, right? Yeah. What about it? Um... Remember when I went to the bathroom in the middle of the game? Yeah. Well, I ran into Jack on my way there and he, uh, he took off my mask. And then, hey, Amelia. Oh, hey, Jack. You should probably run. What? Yikes, these guys have only heard half of a story and now they're after Jack. This is terrible. What the heck? And now they're chasing him. I swear, if you ever touch her again. Dylan, stop. This is too much. No, he deserves this. I said stop, Dylan. Are you okay? Do I look okay? Jack. Jack, are you okay? Oh my gosh, what happened? Dylan punched me. No, I didn't. Dylan, anger isn't always the answer. Just because he took off my mask doesn't give you the right to beat him up. I hope one day you can understand that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take Jack to the nurse's office. I hope you're happy, Dylan. That seriously backfired for Dylan. And he was just trying to protect Amelia all because he heard half of a story. And I don't blame him for being mad because if someone did that to my friend, I feel like I'd be angry too. All right, he's all patched up. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, no problem anytime. I'll see you guys later. Also, make sure to leave that eye patch on for three weeks. All right, I will. Thanks again, and we'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for taking me to the nurse's office. That's what friends are for, right? Yeah, I guess. Excuse me, why are you 20 minutes late? We were in the nurse's office. Then where is your pass? It's right here. I see you both are written down. Go and take a seat then. Anyway, class, I have an important announcement. In about a week, there'll be a prom for the end of the year. So if any of you in here are in the drama club or in the band, please head to the cafeteria. You're going to help plan the prom. If any of you want to volunteer to help, also go to the cafeteria. So whoever is in band, drama, or wants to volunteer to help, go to the cafeteria now, please. Anyway, let's get back to work. A prom, huh? Maybe, maybe I should ask Amelia, but she just got mad at me. Wait, I could just say sorry to her and then ask her. I'm so stupid. Hopefully she says yes. I really, really hope so. The next day. So you already asked me to prom, huh? Shut up, man. And I know you're gonna ask Amelia. Speaking about that, can you help me? Of course, bro. So, when are you gonna ask her? I'm thinking today, at lunch. But I don't know how to get rid of Oliver and May. Don't worry, leave that to me. Has anyone seen Theo? He's usually here by now. I haven't seen him. Same here. Hmm. Oh gosh, I wonder how Theo is gonna get these two away from Amelia. I hope he doesn't do anything crazy. Guys, Mrs. Jackson's class pet is going to die. May, you need to help, and Oliver. Hurry! Come on, Oliver, let's go help him. Dang, that worked. Well, I guess I should make my move. Uh, hey, Amelia. What, Dylan? I just wanted to say sorry about the other day. Don't say sorry to me, say sorry to Jack. Wow, Amelia is being savage. She doesn't want to hear his apologies. Look, I get that you might be a little jealous that he saw my real face, but that doesn't give you the right to hurt him. You're right, after lunch, I'll tell him that I'm sorry. Okay, good. But I have something to ask you. Okay, what is it? Well, I, I was wondering if you, uh, hey, Amelia. 
Oh, hey Jack, what are you doing here? Well, I just wanted to ask you a really important question. Oh my goodness, this is so awkward. Dylan was just about to ask her and then Jack walks in with a bunch of flowers. And I think we all know what's going to happen next. Yeah, sure, what is it? I was just wondering, will you go to prom with me? I, yikes, this is very awkward. I mean, sure, why not? Okay, cool, I got these for you. Oh, thank you, you didn't have to get me these gifts. Oh, it's my pleasure. Ooh, chocolate. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. I also got you these. Oh, they're beautiful. I wasn't sure which flowers you liked, so I just picked the one that I thought looked the best. You picked some really pretty ones. Thank you so much. Anything for you, Amelia. I just love how Dylan is in the background here, absolutely shook to his core. And Jack is smiling right at him. Hey Dylan, what were you going to ask me? Forget it, have fun at prom. Oh my gosh, he is so upset. I don't blame him either. He was literal seconds away from getting Amelia to go to prom with him. And then Jack just walks in and takes that away from him. Theo, you've got to stop with these pranks. They're not even that fun. Dylan, what happened? Jack, I was going to ask Amelia to go to prom with me. Then Jack came and asked her right as I was. And, and she said yes, but it's fine. As long as she's happy. Dylan, wait. Ugh, I hate Jack. I'm gonna kill Jack. You don't want to make things worse for Dylan, right? Then just let everything be. He'll get over it. The next day. Hey guys. Hey Amelia. I was wondering after school, did you want to go shopping with me for a dress? Yeah, sure. Can I come? This is a girl's day. You can go shopping for a tux with the men. But what if I wanted to wear a dress? Then you can go with us. Yeah. I'll see you guys at lunch. See ya. Let's go, Amelia. Coming. Let's go. After school. I'm here. I'm okay. I'm just out of breath. Are you sure? Yep. Now, who's ready to go shopping? Me! Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Right behind you, sister. Guys, wait for me! Guess it's just me and you, Dylan. Maybe shopping will get your mind off things. I guess. Then let's go. At the mall. Where should we go first? That one. Yes! Let's go, homies! Wait, is Oliver seriously going to wear a dress to prom? I would love to see that. A fashion icon. So many dresses. Everyone grab a dress. I think he is going to wear a dress as well. He's going to grab one. I guess I'll find a dress then. Okay, does everyone have their dresses? Yep. Okay, who's going to change first? Me. Okay, three minutes later. He does not look very happy about it. I have something to confess. I don't want to wear a dress. It's so tight. I can't breathe. Don't kick me out. I just want to hang out with my little sister. I'm not going to kick you out, idiot. You could have just said that you wanted to hang out with your sister, you know? And I would have been okay with you coming. Oh, and now he's stood in a dress for absolutely no reason. I'm going to go change then. All right. Much more comfortable. Okay, it's my turn to try the dress I picked out. Okay, whatever. Definitely not. Nope, that one. Well, that was faster than I thought. Yeah. Now, Amelia, it's your turn. Okay, okay. Heck no. You look like a grandma. What the heck? What are these dresses? Amelia, just go get changed back into your school uniform. I'll go get you some good dresses. All right. Why is Oliver on the floor? What is happening? Hey, Amelia, I got you some really pretty dresses. Oh, thank you. No problem. Hey, why did you push me over? Oh, I'm so sorry. That was sarcasm. Good going, Sherlock. I knew I picked the perfect dress. I say today was really successful. Right, guys? Yeah, I guess. And Oliver is following behind with all of the shopping bags. The day of the prom. Oh, here comes Jack. And he's going to be so smug because he's got Amelia as a date. What's up, fellas? Hey, Jack. Hey, Dylan. What's with the long face? Are you sad I took your girl? You idiot. You knew I was going to ask her. And you just swooped up and asked her while I was. I wouldn't raise your voice at me if I was you. Because I bet Amelia would love to hear that you yelled at me. That's what I thought. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find my beautiful date. Amelia? Oh my goodness, she's not wearing her mask. That's great, it means she's feeling more self-confident. And she looks absolutely stunning. Hey guys, you're not wearing the mask. 
Wait, why do you wear the mask anyway? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's fine. Amelia, you look amazing. Thanks. She looks amazing, right? Yeah. You look great too, May. Aw, thanks, Theo. You look great too. Do you want to get some food with me, Theo? Sure. Okay, let's go then. So, Amelia, do you want to... Amelia! Why aren't you wearing your mask? And don't show them your eye. I won't. Sorry, Jack, I just needed to ask her a question. Oh, no problem, man. I'll be heading back to my date now. Sorry again. You're good. Um, anyway, I was just wondering if you wanted to dance with me. But... I don't know how. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. Um, do you want to go get something to eat? Sure. Okay, let's go. Oh, poor Dylan. He's all on his own. So, what kind of food do you want? Actually, I'm not that hungry. I ate on the way here. Sorry. Okay, well, I'm going to eat then. 30 minutes later. Can everyone please head down to the stage? It's time to announce our prom king and queen. All right, let's go, Amelia. Okay. All right, all right, students, calm down. Thank you. Now, this vote for prom king and queen was very close between a lot of students. So please be respectful if you didn't win. Anyways, let's start off with our prom king, Dylan Becker. Oh my goodness, Dylan has been chosen to be prom king. That's actually quite shocking considering he doesn't even have a date. Dylan Becker, please come up to the stage. Congratulations, Dylan. How do you feel right now? To be honest, I'm so shocked. I wasn't expecting me to become the prom king. Good. Now, are you ready to meet your prom queen? Heck yeah. Our prom queen for the end of year special prom is... Amelia Jackson. Oh my goodness, how awkward for Jack. Amelia, don't be shy. Come up to the stage. She's so confused. Congratulations, Amelia. How are you feeling right now? I never thought this would ever happen to me. I'm so overwhelmed and happy. Good. And there you have it, folks. This year's prom king and prom queen. I can't believe we got prom king and queen. Same. You know, you wouldn't have gotten it without me and Theo. What do you mean? Who do you think bribed over a hundred people to vote for you both? Oh my gosh. You and Theo did? Yep. We did. We've been planning this for a while. Thank you guys so much. I can't thank you enough. I've never had this kind of thing happen to me. Thank you. Hey, hey, don't cry. These tears are happy tears. I ship. What? Not on my watch, little punk. I'ma just go get a drink of water. Young love. Ah! Amelia? Wait a second, what's going on with Amelia now? Why is she screaming? What the heck, Jack? Jealous much, Dylan? Let me go, Jack. She doesn't like it. You're dead. Oh my gosh. We are seconds into this episode and there is already drama. Dylan is out here throwing hands and he's knocked them both over. You think you're so tough, huh? Amelia is mine. You could never please her. I could treat her better than you ever could. All right, whoever wins this fight gets her. Bet. Both of you stop it. You think fighting is the way to win me over? Well, newsflash, it's not. And if you know Amelia, you'll also know that she hates violence and she hates situations like this. So I don't understand why the boys are thinking this is a good idea. I'm not something to be won over. I'm not a toy. And I'm sick and tired of being treated like one. So stop fighting and learn how to treat a woman. Poor Amelia having to put up with these two who just want to fight constantly. That's pretty exhausting. Amelia, wait. Look what you've done, Jack. She is so angry. I don't blame her either. Amelia, leave me alone. I love how she's just storming out of the school. This is so dramatic. Amelia, wait. Let me go, Dylan. Please don't cry. I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have agreed. Please don't cry. I'm sorry. You were right. You aren't a toy, Amelia. And I'm sorry I made you feel that way. I forgive you. Amelia, why do you have so many scars on your face? Oh, that's just makeup. It's not makeup. If it was, it would have came off when I rubbed your face. Do you have more behind your hair right here? You... You don't have an eye. Wow, Dylan really has a way of wording things, doesn't he? She already knows she doesn't have an eye. She doesn't have to tell people if she doesn't want to. I, uh, I should probably start getting home. Anyway, I'll see you later. 
You've got to stop doing that, silly. I'm not going to let you go until you tell me why you have so many scars on your face. And why you don't have an eye. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. And if they find out, I'll be in big trouble. They won't, I promise. Well, I guess it's about time that I tell you. And the reason I don't have an eye is because I lost it when I was younger. So, that's why you wear the mask. I'm so sorry. I never knew. Hey, hey, don't cry. I'm sorry, it's just, it's a little overwhelming. Amelia, I'm so sorry. Now, let's wipe away those tears. There, I never realized how pretty your eye is. It's like a bright turquoise. Thanks. No problem. So, do you have a place to stay besides your house? No. Well, I was wondering. Do you want to stay at my house? Are you sure you have enough room for me? Yes, of course. My parents are on another business trip, so I don't think they'll care. Oh, okay. I promise to help with the house chores and stuff like that. Oh, you don't have to. Please, I insist. All right then, should we be on our way then? Sure, this will be so fun, like a big sleepover. Yeah, something like that. At Dylan's house. So, uh... Where will I sleep? You can sleep on the couch if that's okay. Yeah, sounds great. Dylan, I feel like I'm being a burden to you. Trust me, Amelia, you're not. Especially all that you've been through. But, no buts, you're not a burden. There, all patched up. Thank you. No problem. I'm pretty sure you don't want to sleep in a dress, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you want, you can borrow one of my hoodies or shirts. I'll get out so you can get changed. Okay, thank you. No problem. A couple of minutes later. You can come in now. All right. Your hoodie is so soft. I really like it. That's good. Uh, is it okay if I make a snack? I haven't eaten in a while. When was the last time you ate? A couple of days ago. Oh my goodness, why has she not eaten? A couple of days? I cannot last without eating after a couple of hours, to be honest. Now I'm hungry again. Amelia, you can eat as much as you want, okay? Really? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Anything for you. Now, I'm going to make a snack. All right, all right. Two minutes later. She said she was going to make a snack and then she's just stood there eating chocolate. That's not really making a snack, is it? It was pre-prepared. What you eating? Oh, chocolate, strawberries, and cheese. All of these foods, you don't really prepare. You just eat the raw ingredients. And she said she was going to make food. It's so good. Oh, I was wondering if you want me to make you something. I can basically make anything. Pancakes, pies, cakes, soups, sandwiches, donuts. Dang, looks like you really like food, especially donuts. Oh yeah, if I could, I would marry donuts. Girl, same. If you like donuts, make sure to leave a like on the video and also leave a donut emoji in the comments. Let's see how many yummy viewers love donuts. They're so delicious. Yes, they are, Amelia. <gasps> Can we go get donuts? It's almost two in the morning, Amelia. Please. How could you say no to that sweet face? Fine, I'll go get you donuts. You can stay here. Yay! Gosh, why do you have to be so cute? 45 minutes later. So it's like 3 a.m. now. And poor Dylan has been out that entire time shopping for donuts. Amelia, I got your donuts. Amelia? She's not in here. What if she... Amelia! Oh, she's sleeping. Gosh, you scared me. Guess I'll be sleeping on the couch. Good night, Amelia. His donut trip was for nothing. The next morning. Unless she eats the donuts for breakfast. Oh, yikes. I just realized that I slept in Dylan's bed. I've got to go say sorry. Dylan? A note? I went to work. I'll be home around five. From Dylan. I didn't know he had a job. The donuts. The perfect, healthy, balanced breakfast of a donut. Not healthy at all, but you know what? We're gonna let it slide because it's Amelia and she's cute. Wow, she ate that donut in one bite. She must really love donuts. Oh, someone's at the door. Who could possibly be at the door? Hello? Amelia, what are you doing here? We were looking for you and Dylan all night last night and your brother is worried sick. Where have you two been? Wait, 
Is that Dylan's hoodie? Yeah, why? Uh, May, what's with that look? Amelia, you don't have to tell me, but just know I know what happened last night. So you know that the reason I screamed last night was because Jack kissed me and Dylan got mad and fought with him and then I got mad at them both and I told Dylan, Jack kissed you? You might want to sit down for this. A couple of hours later. This story is so in depth. It has literally taken hours for Amelia to explain it to May. May is loving the tea right now. It's scorching hot. And that's basically it. Dang, last night was wild then, huh? Yeah. Well, at least your brother will know you're okay. But he's not gonna be happy when he hears Jack has kissed you. Yeah, no kidding. I'm glad you told me all of this, Amelia. I thought you and Dylan got together last night. Oh, <laughs> we're just friends, nothing more. Uh-huh, definitely. Anyway, do you want a donut? Heck yeah. A couple of hours later. Amelia, I'm home. Oh great, what is she doing this time? She's sharing donuts with May in the kitchen. What else did you expect? Uh, what are you doing here, May? I'm vibing while eating donuts. Back off, hater. What a mood. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go get changed real quick then. A couple of minutes later. What the heck is May doing? Seriously, what is she doing? Y'all are weird. Back off, hater. Also, can me and Theo sleep over? I... Okay, great. I'll call Theo right now. I didn't even say anything. Hey, Theo. We're having a sleepover at Dylan's house. Wanna come? Okay, see you in a while. Bye. Okay, he's coming over. I'm gonna head back to my house real quick and I'm gonna grab all of my stuff. I'll be back. Bye. Dang, she's a savage. But she's so cool. Uh-huh, sure. I just realized this will be my first sleepover. Wait, really? Yeah. Well, let's make it the best sleepover ever then. Yeah, I'll go order some pizza and donuts. Okay, I will. 30 minutes later. Oh, I think Theo and May are here. I'll get it. All right. Hell. Hi, sisters. Your queen is here. I know, I know. Breathtaking, isn't it? No. Hey, guys. Theo, I missed you. It's only been a day. I know, but it feels like a hundred years. All right, that's enough, lovebirds. Who wants pizza? Me. I want pizza. Seriously, I do want pizza right now. A cheese pizza. Oh, that would be amazing. Gacha always makes me hungry. Me. Then let's go eat some pizza. Dude, what's taking May so long to get changed? I don't know. What the heck is she wearing? Because I need it in my life. It's like a chicken onesie and I'm here for it. Do you like my chicken onesie? Aren't you a little too old for that? Shut up, Dylan. I'm not too old for anything. You tell him, Queen. I love it. Oh, thank you. See, this is why Amelia is my favorite. All right, who's ready to play true for dare? I don't know. We're playing it. Um, how do you play true for dare? I've never played it before. You've never played it? Yeah. Well, it's simple. If someone asks, Amelia, true for dare, and you pick dare, they'll give you a dare and you have to do the dare. If you pick truth, the person who asked you has to come up with a question to ask you and then you have to answer it. And that's basically it. Oh, okay, sounds fun. All right, who's gonna start? I'll start. May, truth or dare? Dare, obviously. I dare you to do the chicken dance in front of everyone. Why? Because you're wearing a chicken onesie. Fine, fine. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, okay, I know what the chicken dance is. It's like this, isn't it? <laughs> That's not too embarrassing, I'd do that. Okay, I'm done. Good job, May. Now it's your turn. Okay, Amelia, truth or dare? Truth, wait, no. Dare, I dare you to kiss Dylan. What? Okay, easy. Wow, is she actually going to do it? Consider me shock. There. It was supposed to be on the lips. Nope, you never said. All you said was kiss him, not in a specific place. You little. Ugh, fine, whatever. Amelia, it's your turn. Okay, Dylan, truth or dare? Dylan? Yeah, sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. Truth or dare, Dylan? I, uh, truth. Okay. Uh, do you have any siblings? Nope. I wish, though. You don't want to wish that, man. Yeah, you really don't want to. 
Why? You wouldn't understand. Yeah, uh, okay. Theo, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to eat peanut butter. You know I hate peanut butter. Well, yeah, and you pick dare, so fine. Why does Theo hate peanut butter so much? He's going in with the world's biggest spoon as well. And now he looks like he wants to be sick. Nasty. How? Peanut butter is so good. It's nasty to me. Weirdo. Shut up. It's my turn. Amelia, truth or dare? Truth. Why do you have so many bandages on your face? Yeah, I was wondering that too. It's personal. Oh, okay. Fine, you don't have to tell us. Thanks for understanding, Theo. No problem. Guys, I have an idea. What is it? Let's have a pillow fight. Yes. What's a pillow fight? We'll show you. I don't know what has happened to Theo, but he's passed out on the ground. Okay, guys, it's getting really late. We should probably go to sleep. All right. So where is everyone going to be sleeping? I think me and Theo will sleep out here in the living room. All right. There isn't really any other place for Amelia to sleep. Then she can sleep with you in your bed, Dylan. What? I'm fine with it. All right, then it's settled. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on. I hate you both. Good night. Oh, hey, Dylan. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, just making your bed. Oh, thank you. No problem. Aren't you nervous? Nervous about what? Uh, never mind. Oh, okay. Which side of the bed do you want to sleep in? Any side is fine. Dylan, are you okay? I just... It's nothing. Dylan, I know something's wrong. Please tell me. You've always been here for me. Now it's my turn to be here for you. So please tell me, and maybe I could help. I just... I want to tell the girl that I've had a crush on for a while now. I want to tell her how I feel, but I don't know how. Um, maybe when the time's right, just tell her. Just for her. Hmm, that seems like a really good idea. Hopefully she'll like it. I think she will. Thanks for the advice, Amelia. No problem. Well, we better get to bed. Yeah, you're right. I'll go and turn the light off. All right. Amelia has been wearing that same hoodie now for like two days. Doesn't it smell? She needs to wear something else. Does Dylan have any more hoodies she could maybe wear? Or is she just going to wear that same one for a week? Good night, Amelia. Good night. Dylan? How did he... I... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Amelia. Dylan is so embarrassed right now. He's used to snuggling up with his plush toys. It's okay, I don't mind. Are you sure? I don't want to offend you or hurt your feelings or anything. No, it's okay, it's okay. I like cuddles. Anyway, I'll go make some pancakes. What you blushing about? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. The pancakes are done. Will you tell everyone that the pancakes are ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how are the pancakes going? Oh, they're basically done. Do you want one? Sure. Here you go. She's just handing him a pancake. It's not on a plate or anything. Just here you go, a pancake. I love that. Why is the pancake shaped like a heart? Because hearts make me happy. And because she has a crush on you. Oh, pancake time. Pancakes fill my soul with life. Uh-huh, sure. The pancake is shaped like a star. Yeah, I shaped all of the pancakes into different shapes. That's really cute. Thanks. Hey, Theo. Why do you look so tired? Because May kept me up all night talking about random nonsense. It wasn't random nonsense. It was a very professional and serious conversation. You mean by seriously, you mean by talking about if water is wet. Well, if you think about it scientifically, water isn't wet and... Shut up, May. You're so dead, Dylan. Do you guys want some more pancakes? Of course. Is that even a question? Anyway, thanks for having us over, guys. You weren't really invited, but okay. Ugh, whatever, hater. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. So, what do you want to do now? Oh, um, I was wondering if you wanted to go shopping. You know, for some actual good clothes for you. Oh, yeah, sure. Sounds great. Okay, just let me get ready real quick. Also, you can wear one of my shirts to the mall if you want. Oh, okay. I'll get changed after you do. All right. Sounds good. 15 minutes later. Hey, Dylan. Hi. Um, you look really cute. Oh, thanks. No problem. Anyways, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Thanks for taking me to the mall, Dylan. You really don't have to do this. It's my pleasure, Amelia. At the mall. So, what store do you want to go to first? Um, that one over there. All right, then. Let's go. Okay. 
This place is so cool. There's so much to try on. Well, what are you waiting for? Go crazy. You mean I get to pick whatever I want to wear? Yeah, of course. Today is your day, Amelia. We're going to do whatever you want to do. Thank you, Dylan. No problem. Now, what are you waiting for? Go crazy. Okay, then let's go. I love Dylan. He is so sweet to Amelia. Okay, I got all of the clothes I want. Should I try them on? Heck yeah. Okay, can we do a mini fashion show then? Yeah, of course. Okay. Ooh, that's a cute outfit. That one too. You know what? She's made so many good choices. I love them all, especially that one. Two hours later. Thanks for buying me all of these clothes, Dylan. No problem. Do you want to go get ice cream? Yeah, sure. Oh, they make a really cute couple. Oh, someone's ringing him. Who was just calling you? Oh, it was just no one. No one was calling him. And yet his phone rang. How does that make any sense? Oh, okay. Did you have fun today? I think this is the funniest time I've ever had in my whole life. And it's all thanks to you, Dylan. Without you, I don't know where I'd be right now. You're the greatest person I've ever met. You're kind, funny, and overall, you're just a really great person. Thank you for everything. So, do you want to watch a movie together or something? Yeah, sure. Can I sleep in one of your hoodies again? We forgot to buy some pajamas for me. Yeah, I don't mind. So, what movie are we watching? We're watching this movie called The Hunger Games. Oh cool, is it about a bunch of people being very hungry? I see why she thinks that. You know, The Hunger Games, Hungry Games. You'll see. Now for some very cute movie moments. Dylan, is she gonna be okay? Dylan, I'm scared. Don't worry, it has a happy ending. I ship them. Wait, she dies? What's gonna happen next? No! The next morning. Who's at the door so early in the morning? I'm really worried it's her dad or her brother. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hello? Hey, babe. Okay, it wasn't her dad. It's a random mystery woman. Who is she? What the heck are you doing here, Abby? And this early in the morning? It's 1 p.m. And why didn't you answer any of my calls last night? Because I didn't feel like talking to a brat. Whatever. Anyway, I wanted to come tell you that. I want to get back together. Uh, no. What? Who is that? And why is she wearing your hoodie? Because she's my girlfriend. Ha 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 ha. That's your girlfriend? I feel bad for you. She's not exactly nice looking. She looks like a cheap knockoff Taylor Swift. To be honest, that's a compliment. I'd take that. Taylor Swift is one of the prettiest girls on earth. So a knockoff version would still be beautiful. I don't know how you fell for that. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Inside and out. She's more beautiful than you could ever be. She's smart, kind, funny, cute, and so much more. And you have no idea how much she's been through. And why would I ever take you back after you cheated on me? I was drunk, okay? Drunk or not, it doesn't give you an excuse to cheat on me. With Jack. A newsflash, he cheated on you the other night. What? He kissed Amelia the other night, and I got all mad at him and I beat him up. So why don't you just go run back to Jack? I bet he's gonna love the story I just told you. Whatever, you're gonna regret this, Dylan. I doubt it. Sorry about her. She's my ex. It's fine. And all of that stuff that you said about me, did you actually mean it? I would have saved to tell you all of this for a more special time, but I think I should tell you now. I did mean all of those things that I said about you. You're so kind and smart and cute. And I've had a crush on you for a while now. And I wanted to ask you, will you be my girlfriend? And guys, that is where the girl behind the mask has ended. I really hope you did enjoy watching this with me. If you did, remember to leave a like. And if you want to see another video of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.